Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Taurus and Moon and Rising Sign. I want to say thank you for being here, thank you for being back. Um, this is the third week of July 2018. The week begins from the um, the 15 until the 16 until the 22nd. I want to say thank you for being here, thank you for being back. Please remember to go back and listen to the monthly reading of July. Um, because now we're in the third week. I want to say thank you so much to all my subscribers. Uh, welcome all new subscribers. I'm hoping and wishing for you to stay. I I want to say thank you to each and every person that has supported my channels for how long. Please leave your messages and I want to say to each and every person out there, no matter what is going on in your life, um, there is a reason for this um, whatever is happening there is a reason and uh, sometimes we're not aware of what the situation is but as you look at um, the energy vibration for you guys in this week is that a lot of you are going to realize that you have a lot of enemies it's like it's as if a lot of enemies are going to be coming out of the woodwork. You're going to be realizing that there's a lot of people that, you know, hated you. But guess what? Someone is going to come in and this person is a, um, um, a Capricorn. And this person is going to bring you love, um, uh, bring you positive energy in your life and you're going to be connecting with this person it can be in relationships because um the energy vibration for you guys in this week is the energy of love the lovers okay so for you Tauruses in this third week of July your energy vibration in this week is all about love it's all about connecting with love it's all about meeting the right person and some of you could be meeting um a, a Capricorn person um, who is going to be helping you in a very very positive way and um, some of you are going to be um, you know peace you're going to be offering peace to this um, Capricorn person whoever she is and you both are going to be connecting on a very very positive in a very very positive way okay love 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 the weekend for you guys especially from Friday from Friday going on in um, a Friday um, um, from up uh, from Friday your week is going to be um, very good Monday to Thursday it is not so positive the crowning of the week is uh, um, you're seeing your enemies coming out of the woodworks okay um, for you um, Tauruses you have to be aware there's a lot of you are going to be seeing who your enemies are you're you know um, it's as if um, um, your eyes are going to be opening up to see all who are your enemies. It, it's as if um, something has happened. It's as if the veil has removed and you're seeing all who are your enemies. Okay. There's a lot of major arcana. Um, you have the energy of uh, balancing out. So some of you are going to be connecting uh, with the um, the um, Virgo and the Capricorn people in a relationship. So some of you Tauruses are going to be connecting with the Virgo and Capricorn people in relationships. Okay, um, some uh, someone um, some of you are going to be um, offering. Um, uh, peace and love to a Virgo and some of you to the Capricorns okay so and by doing that there is going to be a powerful um, dance connection uh, energy frequency with these people okay because whatever it is you have seen all your enemies are and you're going to be triumphant it's a wonderful weekend whenever it comes on to love because I love this I think this is one of the most beautiful card in this deck and it is the energy of the ace of cups I think it's the most beautiful card in this deck and it is the energy of the ace of cups and this is what you have on Saturday beside um, the energy of a celebration so a lot of you are going to be connecting 
with the Virgos and the Capricorn in this week this week for you guys is all about love it's about love it's about connecting with your twin flame and soulmate it can be twin flame in an intimate relationship and it can be um, soulmate in um, a connection of a family bond a soul bond okay let's look at your week um, on Monday there is the energy of air and on Tuesday there is the energy of temperance the, um, it is a earth energy so what is happening with the four of swords and temperance is a childhood situation so there we go again it is and this has to do with basically it has to do with um, the energy of um, a childhood situation which means you're connecting with your soul family a lot of you Virgos are going to be connecting with your soul families okay a lot of you are going to be reconnecting um, ex partners are going to be coming back in your life uh, and you're going to be reconnecting with Virgos okay so it could be a man or a woman and this was an ex lover and now you know it could be a soulmate relationship where you guys have met each other um, months or years ago and now this person is um, coming back in your life and this is a karmatic situation because this is a soulmate situation okay let's see you have to be balancing out with situation that is going on some of you are leaving a situation behind a lot of people are leaving situation that no longer serve them behind because some of you have been going through an healing some of you have been going through an healing and whatever the karmatic situation is it has to do with a past life karmatic situation and a lot of you are leaving a situation behind and they are saying that there are more um, possibilities more opportunities that are coming up for you Tauruses again let's see um, a lot of okay this is a wonderful energy that comes up okay um, there is a situation that is coming up um, a situation where a lot of you are going to be seeing your enemies your enemies are going to be coming out of the woodwork let's see what is the seven of cups and the of the moon because the moon is a scorpion energy someone it could be um, someone who is a scorpion who's going to be showing you your enemies okay here we go the princess of cups the princess of cups okay whoever this woman is um, this is someone um, who is between the ages of 25 and 40 and this person um, is and could be um, is and could be showing you some for some of you um, this situation is a childhood situation and um, some of you could be connecting and some of you be aware of this lady um, this lady because there is a lot she has created and made a lot of enemies for you but you're going to be overcoming this whoever this lady is it's as if she had done something in the past that create a lot of enemies around you but you have overcome this situation so whoever this lady is she is a cancer whoever this lady is is a cancer she is younger than you or or she's at your age group she is a, um, she is a um, a cancer she is um, between the ages of, um, of 25 and 40 this lady has created a lot of created a lot of enemies for you but whatever it is you have come out of this situation you have stand up and come out of this situation if you are in the relationship with a cancer um, get out of this relationship okay um, Be aware of what is going on. Hold on. Let's see what is happening with Empress and the Ace of Cups. Okay. The Empress and the Ace of Cups is accomplishment. The energy of the Princess of Wands. Okay. You are going to be celebrating and end with the energy of the Princess of Wands. So this is a very very positive a new start is going to be here 
for a lot of you guys a new start new start in love new start in accomplishing um, situation you start is coming in some of you are going to be having a new start with um, someone who is a cat I am a Capricorn okay some of you are going to be having a new start with a Capricorn um, this woman is going to be helping you out and helping you um, um, to uh, be financial stable okay there is a new start that is going to be coming up with a Capricorn um, and this lady um, is going to be bringing you not only love but inner peace um, she's going to help you to accomplish a lot of things in your life okay um, the energy of the princess of wands that is whoever this energy of this princess of one whoever this person is be aligned and be aware of who this person is I need to find out who is this um, princess of one or what is her situation okay so a lot of you um, ladies um, a lot of you ladies are going to be connecting with the Virgos a lot of you ladies are going to be co connecting with the Virgos there is going to be a new start um, some of you it could be um, leaving a situation behind with um, a cancer woman and ending that and moving forward um, which is going to be very good what else is coming in there is Steph there is Steph um, um, some of you are going to be find out that a theft um, was was taken place of there was a theft that is taken place of some of you are going to be finding this out okay and the outcomes is going to be uh, there is coming an end to a theft that has taken place okay it was a karmatic situation so as we look at this um, um, situation and what is going on you are realizing that you ladies um, are going to be finding out that someone had um, stolen something um, from you and the person who have um, stolen from you is someone who is a um, cancer she is between the ages of 25 and 40 whoever this lady is she had stolen from you so some of you ladies out there it could be your daughter um, and if it's so you know um, you you have to have forgiveness for this person but whoever this person is a Pisces is a cancer because the energy of the moon it can be a Scorpio but it can also be because the energy of the moon is here and what is transpiring and what has happened is that um, this person has taken something and has stolen something from you and you are going to be finding this out in the week um, as we move on and we're looking and we're understanding what has been happening what has been transpiring there is an end that is coming to a situation and there you know there is a new start that is here and I wanted to ask the question because um, um, some of you are going to be connecting um, with an Aries um, a bowl, uh, yeah an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarian some of you are going to be connecting in love with this person be aware or some of you are going to think I am leaving this relationship behind and I'm going to choose for a Virgo okay that can be so who is this lady who is this young person some of you could realize that um, your daughter that is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius needs some financial help and you're going to be helping out okay I want you ladies out there you ladies um, uh, over the age of 50 be aware of this young person who is an cancer because she has stolen from you but this has come to an end now this young lady that is a cancer has stolen from you but this is coming to an end let me see we're asking who is this Aries who is this princess of ones why is she here what is going to be um the energy of this princess of wands she has secrets whoever 
um, this princess of wands is she has secrets there is a, um, a young lady and this could be some of you daughters out there um, and she's an Aries Leo or Sagittarius she has some secrets um, some of you could be um, meeting someone um, in love um, be aware of this Aries person because she's going to steal from you um, she's not being honest so whether this Aries is be um, you know um, be careful of who this Aries person is because she's coming in your life but she's not coming in you are going to be meeting this person in the weekend um, and it's as she's coming in as a new a, a new love someone who wants to connect with you but be careful she has a secret so think about it who um, is an Aries Leo uh, um, or a Sagittarius someone you some of you could be meeting this person or some of you could be going out with this person in the weekend be aware of this person she has some secrets okay she has some secrets okay for the people who are going to be connecting with the Capricorns um, in love um, or in business it's going to be a positive prosperous business okay it's going to be a very positive prosperous business it's going to be extremely good let's see what is coming out for the energy um, for um, you um, um, Taurus is for the third week of July marriage 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 this is wonderful this is wonderful because you have the energy of the lovers okay so the other energy that is here is all about marriage it's all about connecting with the right people because you have the energy of a lover that is the focus of the week and then marriage comes out as the energy from your guiding angels and saints whenever the energy of marriage comes out it has to do with Saint Caterina of um, uh, Saint Caterina of Alex um, um, Alexa and this two energies together meaning a lot of people are going to be getting um, married or hooked up um, whether in business and this is what I said to you guys before whether in business or whether um, soulmate or twin flame and you can see this energy coming in because um, your overall energy for the week was the energy of the lovers and this is this is just wonderful because whenever marriage comes in is that um, whoever you're about to meet whether in business or whether in um, whether in business or um, whether in um, supporting something a cause it is going to be a good cause because it's it's as if it's a marriage that was meant to be okay whenever the, the energy of marriage comes out it is a message about um, your marriage your present marriage so for the people who are um, in a marriage now or in a relationship a long-term relationship it's going to get only better okay it's going to only get better and in a positive way there is an heavenly um, purpose for you connecting with the person who you're connecting with at the moment there is always a purpose for you connecting with whoever you will recognize your soulmate by having the feelings that you have known these people for a very long time it's like synchronicity event that brings you both together and there is a sense of destiny and fate in your relationship okay so um some of the time you will meet people and you felt as if you have known these people for a very long time you have been so connected with these people and that sort of a thing and this is exactly what is coming up in this week and this is exactly whoever you have met in this week or whoever you are about to meet in this week it is going to be as if you have known these people in a very long time there is going to be a new start a lot of ex lovers are going to be coming back because these were soulmates who have met and twin flame who have met each other in the past but the relationship could not have begun in the past this is going to be coming out and this is what you're going to be seeing this um soulmate um there's a lot of soulmate connection um soulmate in partnerships in uh, correctly in your life um 
and this will soon be apparent so um, you could be soon um, meeting twin flame or soulmate that is about to appear in your life it's if it's not in this week it's going to be sometime um, in the next couple of weeks and they're saying within six weeks okay so um, you know uh, and this is what I've always said to people whenever you are looking for your soulmate or your twin flame you need to call upon Saint Katerina when Saint Katerina is a powerful um, angel saints and angel that brings and help you um, Saint Jonah of Arc is also another one because they help you to bring you to your soulmate and connect to the right people at the right time many suitors will um, attract to you as you call upon um, Saint Katerina and um, Saint uh, Joan of Arc and they will connect you with your twin flame and your soulmate okay she arrange marriages and bring the right people together in relationships okay so um, this is a very very powerful week in relationships for you guys I've gone way over the time I'm saying namaste until next time